All right, welcome back. Uh, video two of our empty series. This is going to be the three by twos and the two by threes. Timestamps down below to send you wherever you like to go. And uh, we're going to take a look at this. Now, for the person who said this is the ugliest ship they've ever seen, you are not wrong. But this is why it's the ugliest ship you've ever seen. Because show me a ship that can stack 17 3 by 2 and 2 by 3 halves and not have any more than one single penetration into each half. Well, okay, there's an up and a down, but meaning I don't have a whole bunch of doors, maze going everywhere. But you're not wrong. It's ugly. I agree. All right, so this is going to follow a format where we start with the 2 by 3 in the mess hall, and then we're going to go up to the cargo hall. Then we'll switch to the 3 by 2 mess hall, go back up to the cargo hall. And I'm going to do that starting with Hope Tech. I got a little cheat sheet here so I can keep them straight. I have, have changed or will change. I have to do this in video editing the format a little bit, and I hope you all like it. I'm not going to tell you what it is, it's going to be a surprise. So then we go to Deimos, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do the same with. Uh, Stroud. Stroud is one of the ones where it auto started in the center, so I just left it that way. So they're coming off the center instead of a corner. Start with mess, 2x3, go up to cargo, 2x3, then up to 3x2, same thing. Then we get into the oddballs. We've got Tayo that only has the 3x2s, so mess then cargo. And we're going to finish it off with Nova that is missing one of the 3x2s. So it has two of the 2x3s, and then but just only the mess hall, no cargo hall in the 3x2. It's a, it's a strange omission, to be honest. I, I Crunch time, I guess. They just didn't have time to finish everything. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it just seems weird to me. <clears throat> All right, let's start in a corner. Put a light on just in case. This is Hope Tech 2x3 Mess Hall. Galley does work. couple uh, inconvenient beam placements. It's got that tin floor or galvanized metal floor look. Ceilings are pretty flat. Fairly well open. Little compartmentalized but but also pretty open. I mean that's that's a pretty decent space depending on what you're going to do with it. All right, now we're going to travel up to the Hope Tech 2x3 cargo. All right. Oh, that's open. Holy moly. I think that's kind of what some people were wanting with the uh, 3x3. I like these nice big flat pieces on the sides, although I don't love the shelving. Yeah, that's just a big old open space, man. Sky's the limit. If they ever let us have have like wall sections and stuff like that, uh, I can see just all kinds of cool stuff happening. People are going to get real creative, that's for sure. I can certainly dig that space. <clears throat> That's not what I wanted. Did someone kick me off? All right, we are at Hope Tech three by two mess hall. Probably going to be the exact same as the 2x3. No, it's different. 
That little half wall right there and that section right there is not on the other one. I do like that. Man, they need to let us build those things. Yeah, even the uh, galley's in a different placement. Also functional. Some interesting lighting in here, too. I don't know if that's a, ba uh, a bad lighting effect or just a different one. Also missing the inconvenient beam. I would say of the two, the Hope Tech for the mess halls, I like this one better. This is the 3x2. We'll jump up here to the 3x2 cargo. That's not the direction I said to go, but all right. This is pretty much the same as the other, if not exactly the same. Nice, big, and open. Hope Tech 3x2 cargo hold. Big open space. Boy, heart's content. You want to do stuff with this. Do all kinds of cool stuff. All right, this could be a long fall, so... You don't like heights, don't look. Alright, let's zoom across the map here. We're going to go to Deimos. Uh, that did something weird. There was not a ladder there the last time I came in here. Can I get past this? Well. Uh, okay, we'll go up this way then. Something changed and it stuck a ladder here, and I'm not happy with it. Well, we'll just deal with it for now. All right, so we've got Deimos, and this is going to be the mess hall in the 2 by 3 Nice floor. I do like this floor type. This also has that half wall. I like the kind of, like, black columns. That's pretty cool. And the juxtaposed with the white, I think that looks real nice. Real sleek. Uh, someone mentioned, uh, aesthetically, this was done to separate the habs between each other. I, I agree, I agree 100%. I was only referring to when you're building in here, it makes it really hard to, like, hang a wall, bra wall shelf on, or posters, or whatever. I like that it's missing columns. I don't... Well, I mean, it has one. Which almost look like uh, stacked boxes, kind of. So, galley work. Is the galley just here for pretend? I don't know if this galley works. Well, that might be a whole bunch of pretend galley that you have no choice but have. Yeah, see. This is why I have my jig and it's still messed up. Well, shoot. All right. Let's pop ourselves up to the Deimos 2x3 cargo. Oh man, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. I Now, I, I maybe can kind of understand on the 3x3s that it's just such a big space that it, it needs more support. Because, I mean, this is already going a good distance across. That could either be really cool or really pain in the butt, having that shelf like that. These sections here, where it gives you a bigger open space that's not really a shelf, should have no problem uh, putting things on. Uh, a galley light. So you've got a uh, really out of place for a storage unit. Really out of character. But I do like, I like the space. It's nice. Hey, see, look. Lights just started working. What the hell? So this is what it's supposed to look like. See, this lighting is fine. I, I like this fine. And there it goes. Never mind. Okay, back to the flashlight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, we're going to go up. We're going to try out the 3x2 Met... Serious? Who did it? It 
If I can get up the ladder, we will. All right. Now we're doing a three by two mess hall in Demos. So now we get some compartmentalization. So if you want... No, I'm sorry. The mess hall. Yeah, I'm an idiot. All right, let's see if this one works. This galley wood does work. Maybe I was looking at it wrong. I swear I tried all angles. But it didn't seem to me like the 2x3 worked, whereas this one definitely... So this is white instead of black. That's interesting. Pretty standard fare for the space. And let's finish it off with the 3x2 cargo hold in Deimos. Another just big open space. Although, this has less of the... Of, oh, I'm shining on it. Those things straight ahead and more shelving. I'd rather have those things, to be honest. I don't really like these shelving. And I'm, I'm referring to this as an empty bay. I, I love the, the detail, though. Stow A, stow B. I like that. They've even got uh, A, A2, A3 for the bays. See, now that I, I can I can dig that attention to detail. I like these better as an wall inset than having those. I get why they're there aesthetically perfectly fine. I'm just talking about having to build into it. So yeah, nice big open space. Uh, once again, height trigger warning. Oh boy, let's see if I can get past this. Yeah, I made it. Alright. Now we should, right here in the middle, have a ladder to Stroud. Alright, we popped right up into a side. So Stroud Eklund, this is going to be a 2x3 of the Mess Hall variety. So it's got the... I like the white for a mess hall purpose, personally. See, I can't get the icon to trigger for this mess. Uh, Deimos and this one both. For those that are new to these, Deimos and uh, Stroud are basically the same hab. One's more military looking, one's more um, passenger looking. Yeah, I can't get this one to trigger. Either one of them. So nice sight lines. Uh, a nice quality look. Those of you th that are looking for a nice, clean, open space. Um, the white floors do well for that. Juxtaposed with kind of a darker gray ceiling. To a corner. All right, Stroud Eklund, two by three cargo hull. So big and open, no doubt about that. The white man, that's a lot of white. Someone mentioned on one of the other cargo um, hab comparison videos that white is nice because then you can see when you've dropped something on the floor, especially in like an engineering bay or something. Um, but whoo, that's a lot of white. You got a big open space like this. You got yourself a disco skating rink up here. But if open's what you want, you got yourself some open. No, no, stop that. I think it might be as the camera goes through, it misunderstands and thinks I'm trying to get off, maybe. 
I don't know. So you guys are all hiding up in this specific one. Of course you are. I give them two entire spaces to go live in on this ship below, and they gotta be up here. So, Stroud Eklund, we are in a three by two mess hall this time. So this one's missing the like little brace section entirely. It doesn't have it at all, it's just open. Now let's see if this galley works. Yeah, so immediately. So the two by three mess hall, both Deimos and Stroud, I cannot get, I immediately walk up and it triggers on the three by two, but not the two by three. So the mess hall that's in this bay, it doesn't seem to work. It's nice to see you. All right, one last one. And then we'll get to the oddballs of the group. So once again, we have just a sea of white. It's basically just the brighter version, you know, uh, all the white floors and all that stuff, and lighter colored bulkheads of Deimos. All right, trigger warning on height. Hey there. Glad to see you again. All right, this way. We're going to go left, take uh, ta some uh, Tayo first, get up here. All right, this brought me up into Tayo. We are in a three by two mess hall. So you come right up into a small storage room, which looks like it could potentially have a built-in fridge, maybe. It doesn't, but it could. So what do we have a, yep, I saw it. Yep, yep, there it is, working. So it seems the three by twos, the galleys work fine. The two by threes, the galleys are having some issues. This does have a half wall on it. A cleaner looking column. Oh, I like all the pipes. It's really cool. This is the conference room. Well, I guess you could call it a conference room for the galley. It's probably the officer's room for where the officers eat. Now, we are at a 3x2 cargo hold for Tayo. Now, interestingly enough, this is also a white, but this is more like that tin colored but painted white. I don't as much mind this white as, as I did in Stroud, where it's like, woo, that's a lot of white. Maybe it's because this doesn't reflect as much. However, I don't love how it's all the curved bulkheads because it'd make it really difficult to decorate onto, unlike those two flat spaces. However, you do, you have a pretty open palette. Uh, ceiling's fantastic because you're not going to have any problems with height for tall objects. All right, let's pop down and we'll go over to our last, which is going to be the Novas. All right, we're starting it off with a Nova 2x3 mess hall. It's going to be heavily compartmentalized, it looks like. Galley does work. So this 2x3 so far is the only 2x3 where the galley appears to be working. Or at least accessible. 
wonder if this one's going to give us a head. So there is these unusual sections that might be hard to decorate around with this just void here again might be difficult to decorate around. That light's definitely going to get in your way uh, for some of your decorating. Well, I suppose you could put a uh, pool table right underneath it. That'd look cool. Not buttons, buttons, buttons. Come on. Figure this out. Uh, did you do this one? No, this one. Nope. Game tables. Gaming tables. So, with this light how it is, you could do... I could see that working. What else do we have? There she is. So I could definitely see something like this. Now, getting it perfect under there is not going to be very easy. But I could definitely... Oh, yeah. Yeah, getting around it wouldn't be very easy. It wouldn't be centered over very well, and it's not casting light at all. Not correctly, at least. But I could see something like that. Nope. Wrong button. Alright. Let's pop up a little bit. We're going to go to Nova 2x3 Cargo Hold. All right, here's a two by three cargo hold by Nova. What does that say? Coolant, that's kind of neat, nice touch. Uh, again, for those who uh, may be new to some of these, Nova is your more NASA oriented, or at least it was originally uh, more NASA oriented type of Habs. That's, Unique, but also I could see that being a pain in the ass to decorate around having that 45 like that. It's definitely unique though. Awful compartmentalized for a storage bay. All right, last but not least, let us check out the Nova 3x2 mess hall. Oh. One of these days. <laughs> All right, coming up into a nice dark space. So mess hall in the 3x2 variety. Oh, okay. So there is your head. So for the Nova, the 3x2 mess hall does give you a head. You've got the light this time. It's further into the room, so you could definitely get a game table under this. I could actually... I could see this as a really cool living space. Uh, galley, does it work? Galley works. So this would be the most versatile if I'm if if I want to say that right uh, of the the two by threes and three by twos because it has a galley and a head whereas I would say demos cargo two by three or three by two depending on which angle you need is the most valuable because it offers the most open space and isn't so Ooh, that's bright like the uh, Stroud Eklund is all right thanks for watching everybody